Hey guys, Happy New Year officially. This is my first video of 2013, so um, hello. I hope that your first week of the New Year is going awesome. I just wanted to do a video just to share with you um, maybe like three or four things that I learned about my hair in 2012 and share also some of my hopes and hair health goals for 2013. So, um, one of the big lessons that I learned last year is that my hair thrives so much better being sealed with a butter versus being sealed with an oil. Um, because my hair is so quick to dry out and it doesn't retain moisture the best, um, I find that using a butter to seal versus an oil works so much better because it's so heavy compared to an oil which is more liquidy and it just helps my hair to stay softer longer and also smooth my hair which is a great prep before styling also. So butter versus oil for sealing. Love it. Um, another thing that works for me is sectioning. And when I mean sectioning, I mean through all the stages of wash day. Washing, detangling, deep conditioning, applying my leave-in, sealant, and styler. That helps so much more to keep my hair looking good as well as um, removing any shed hairs that I may have missed during the detangling step because my hair just you look at it and it's tangled no matter if I just detangled it officially or not. So sealing is a game changer, I mean um, sectioning is a game changer for me, definitely. Um, another thing that I learned is um, kind of a carryover from 2011 and that's these highlights. Y'all know how I feel about the highlights. So um, I didn't start to see ill effects from them until last year sometime. And what I didn't mention in my highlight update video, my very last one, which is probably the most important thing I should have mentioned, is that not only are the sections of hair that are highlighted frizzier and brassier and all that jazz, they feel completely different than the parts of my hair that aren't highlighted at all. Um, the texture changes dramatically. You can literally feel the difference. When I'm smoothing my hair, my, hair, my hands kind of stop on that section because it becomes really rough and brittle and... Um, the cuticle just feels raised and angry and I'm just, yeah, the only option I have is to cut the highlights out. There's no repairing how that hair feels and that's what I've been doing over the past year, cutting them out and that's my game plan for um, this year as well, to just continue to cut the highlights out until they're gone. Hopefully by the time summer gets here, which is my hair's favorite season, it thrives during the summertime, um, hopefully by the time summer hits then my highlights will be almost a thing of the past completely, which will be great. Um, so then we get to my most important hair lesson of last year, and it has nothing to do with technique, nothing to do with products. I know, shocker, nothing to do with products for me. Very weird. But, um, and that would be health. Not hair health, but overall health. Um, full disclosure, I have not been treating my body the best at all. I haven't been working out probably in the last four months. I can count on one hand usually, one hand, the amount of times I eat any type of vegetables or fruit in a two week period. That's horrible. Um, my diet consists a lot of cookies and candy. Well, not cookies and candy, but more so chips and ice cream. That's my weakness. Chips and ice cream is the majority of my diet and like carbs galore, not um, produce and stuff. So that's really bad. I've been noticing over the past two months, my hair has just not been the same. It's very dry. It tangles more than usual, which is freaking crazy because already like the mayor of Tangle Town is my hair. So um, it tangles more than usual. It's been very dry even after I decondition, even though I've used the same products. Um, it's just not going too great. Uh, I've noticed a lot more shedding and breakage and my skin also has not been looking the best since I haven't been treating my body right. So I've noticed an overall theme and I think that those two are connected. So um, a big thing that I'm going to be doing in 2013 is just treating my body better and just getting healthier. And that goes deeper than hair, like just in general I need to do that and work on that and um, the hair health will follow. So. Um, those are the biggest things that I've learned in 2013 regarding my hair. Now, as far as hopes for the future, for this year, um, I don't have any like specific goals like, you know, I want to reach knee length by the end of the year or, um, you know, something like that. I don't have anything specific. I just want to get my hair as healthy as possible. Um, you guys, and I am going to talk about the elephant in the room, my straight hair. 
um, in a few minutes, but I had to cut off a lot of hair this year because of those highlights, and my hair is super uneven, as you can see. Um, so yeah, another goal is that as the health comes, length will come. So I want those sections that I've kind of haphazardly cut um, over the past year to kind of grow out and catch up and all that stuff. Um, let's see, I'm actually surprised that I retained so much length over the past year because I cut a lot of hair, guys, like a lot of hair, like oh, in some sections four inches at a time. So I'm really surprised that it's as long as it is right now so that was a pleasant surprise um so that is my hope for 2013 just get my hair healthy um my overall goal is just to grow it till it grows like you know i'm gonna grow it as long as it wants to grow pretty much um so yeah the healthy hair number one for me um so yeah my hair is straight as you can see it's the first time that i've um had it straight in over two years. It was totally spur of the moment. I had my hair in a, in a set of twists and I decided that day that I straightened it that I wanted it um, to look different. So my mom straightened it for me. She's the only person that I trust to straighten it. And usually I will, um, and I literally just took the twist out and we straightened it from a twist out to this. No blow drying first, no nothing. So I'm shocked that it came out as straight as it did um, because of the method we used. I used heat protectant from Chi. I used grapeseed oil, which is um, has been researched to have a very high smoke point, so it's a good oil to use as a heat protectant. And I also use a serum with silicones. So I hope that my hair does good when I wash it. I'm of course going to show you guys what it looks like when I wash it. Um, I usually, when I straighten my hair, keep it like that for a month, but I already missed my curls, so it's probably only going to last a week, if that. Um, usually when I straighten my hair, my mom will straighten it like this, then I go to a salon and get it like super sleekified and just, you know, straighten within an inch of its life and it's like flat in my head. But I am too concerned with heat damage and all that jazz to do all that. Plus I like the way it looks. Um, that's why it doesn't have like a sleek finish or whatever because we just kind of roll with it. And I told her that I didn't want her to go over sections more than twice. I know she went over some sections more than twice. She just couldn't help the ends because they look so bad. But, um, yeah, I just told her to go over the sections twice at most because, you know, heat damage was my thing that I was worried about. And it's already starting to revert or it's either starting to revert or she didn't um, get too close to the root, which is totally fine. So, yeah, if it lasts... Um, a week I'll be happy. If not, I'll be happy too. My main thing is that if it's going to last a week, I want to last throughout my um first week back to work next week. So I'm not going to feel like doing my hair after work. So if it can last to the weekend, I'll be a happy girl. So um, let me get, show you guys the overall, what it looks like from the back. And you'll see how uneven it is. But um, let me show you guys what it looks like from the back. So you can see. Okay. So... Is it in there? Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Um, as you can see, it's I guess it's the tailbone length right here, but I don't really count this too much because it's the underside of my hair. And um, so yeah, that's probably, we're gonna trim my hair also pretty drastically, my mom and I. So it's probably gonna be evened up to about um, right here where it's more full and all this little scraggle bits are gonna, um, gonna be gone but yeah this is my hair straightened Ta -da! so that's what it looks like and um, I'm liking the change but I miss my curls and um, this is the first time that my mom has straightened my hair and she looked at me and she was like I miss your curls can we just wash it out so that's so awesome that's really sweet and um, a big change because she used to love my long straight hair back in high school and when I was growing up so now that she likes my curls better that is just an awesome feeling I love it so um yeah here we are here we are as you can see there are definitely some sections where um it's got to go you guys and of course this is the highlighted sections that look like that the sections that the virgin hair looks pretty awesome overall so this side is a lot healthier looking than this side um it's like that when it's curly too i don't know why but yeah we're gonna even this up a little bit because these ends aren't doing much for me so yep 
that's everything. Let's see. Yeah, okay. My video is about to cut off, so I will see you guys in my next one.